So now we're going to move on to equations of nonlinear graphs. So the first type of nonlinear equation we're going to talk about is called a parabola. So and the most basic form of a parabola is y equals x squared. So we're going to graph this equation right here. So if I plug in 0, I'm going to get y equals 0. So I have 0, 0. If I plug in 1, I'm going to get 1. y equals 1 squared. So y equals 1. So I have 1, 1. If I plug in negative 1, if you remember, any number squared is going to be positive. So I'll get negative 1, 1. If I plug in 2, I don't know why I wrote it like that. I'm going to get y equals 4. So 2, 4, same thing if I plug in negative 1. And this is what a parabola looks like. Miss my dot right there. It's like a, like a U. So now we're going to graph y equals 2. So y equals 2x squared. We're going to do the same kind of thing, plug in points. So y equals 2 times 0, so 0, 0. y equals 2, 1, y equals 2. Same thing is going to happen if I plug in negative 1, 2, 2 squared. So 2 times 2 squared, which is 4, is 8. Oh, this is going to be off my little chart. I'm just going to put it up here. And then same thing if I plug in negative 2. So when we put a big number out, out front, the graph's going to get skinnier. And the way I like to think of it, when you have a bigger number in front of an X, you have more exercise. And if you have more exercise, you're going to be skinnier. So whenever you have like a 4 out front, you're going to have a skinnier graph. But if you had like a 1 half out front, you get less exercise, so you're going to be wider. Okay. Now we're going to do negative X squared. Okay. So here, if we plug in negative, if we plug in 1, we're going to get y equals negative 1. So 1. Same thing's going to happen if we plug in positive 1. And if you keep going, you'd get the same parabola. It's just reflected across the x-axis. So when you have a negative out front, it's going to you're going to have a downwards parabola. If you have a positive out front, it's going to be up. Alright, and now we're going to do two more ones. Okay, so each parabola has its vertex, which is where there's just one point, and then your graph goes like up from that one point like that. So, so far, every one of our graphs has had a 0, 0 vertex. But if you plug 0 into this, you're going to get 0 plus 2 squared. So y equals 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to... Actually, forget about that. Okay, so whenever you have a number inside your parentheses, if it's a positive, it's going to shift your graph 2 to the left. If it's a negative, it's going to shift your graph to the right. So your, um, your y-intercept, if you set y equal to or your x-intercept, if you set y equals 0, you get 0 equals x plus 2, x equals negative 2. 
So negative two. Okay, so if you have a, a plus two here, it's gonna shift your graph two to the left. So your vertex is gonna be zero, one, two. So then your graph is going to look something like this, just shift it over. If you have negative 3, it's going to shift it to the right 3. And that's all we're going to do with parabolas. Um, make sure you come back and watch our next video where we talk about circles.